How about three for three? Should we do it? Okay. Whoa! Oh! That one hit so hard. This one feels even bigger. They're all right here. Jeez! Welcome back to another Fishtails video and another giveaway. Today I'm gonna to be using and giving away the X8 eight strand Runkle braided line. This is such a thin diameter, strong line, and I'm super excited to use it today and show it. And I'm gonna also be using the Runkle S Valet bait caster. So many adjustments, so many drag, uh, fine tuning abilities. Runkle S Valet reel and braided line. Let's go see if we can catch some river bass in uh, late August. Here we go. Bridge, pilings. Let's see what you're holding. Super simple setup right now in the morning. Just have a weightless Senko from Engulf Baits hooked onto a wide gap hook. And I have no ring on it either. Trying to make it look a little more subtle. The water is pretty clear and shallow. So I'm not trying to even spook them with a little O-ring on the worm. No weight, no drop shot, no split shot casting across the current here sometimes upstream but for sure across and then i'm just letting it sink for about four or five seconds oh there's something i think that took it and then let it drift and sink and then pop it and then it sort of sinks and drifts downstream and still dances when it's dropping so that looks still pretty enticing to them they love to hit it when it's dropping so i'm casting upstream a little bit Letting it drift down, keeping the line as tight as I can without it being pulled downstream. I don't want to do that. And there we go. And that's what's been dinking at it. <laughs> okay. Somehow the hook fit in his mouth. Wow. But that's essentially what we're doing today. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones now. A little bit further cast. So just covering another lane down the river as I pop it and it sinks. It's just pretty much going parallel to shore. Let's bite. There we go. There we go. Right in the middle of the river. Here I'm thinking these awesome spots over to the side where there's no current are the spots to hook in these fish and Boy, I could feel him perfectly on this X8 Runkle line. That was easy hook set. No stretch, super thin diameter. And we got ourselves a nice river smallmouth. And there you go. One thing I look for in the morning is little bait fish like that surfacing on top in a river or lake or wherever, ocean, surf. If you got that happening, oop, there was a bite. If you got that happening, then you got fish a lot of times hanging out around there. So that was just a hit I had almost immediately. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> okay, a little bit of surfing action there. We got a large mouth in the Milwaukee River. They're in here. Not as common as small mouth though. There he goes. Nice long cast. That was, oh, there we go. Jeez. Hit that thing right off the shore. All right. Let's see if we can get this line and reel to do it again. That's it. Yep. Doesn't feel huge, but let's see. Okay. Man, is he fast. Could hardly keep up with him. Could feel that thing hit. I had a little bit of slack line too, and that super sensitive line was still able to feel that bite. Let's drop this thing in front of that tree. Give it a second to sink. So I'm gonna cast a little bit further to the left, and then when it gets deep enough, work it in. Come on. Come on. Probably about four feet right there. I'm up to my belly button right now. 
see if we can drag that along the bottom by the time it gets under those fallen trees here. Here we go. Oh yeah. Wow. Took it right next to me and I thought, man, was that just a little three incher? Just kind of playing with it? Not at all. Look at that. Fun Senko bass. I didn't need to worry about feeling that hit. He just smashed it right next to me. Rigging up one of my last Senkos here. I did not bring enough. I forgot to reload my box. So once these go out, I might have to hop over to top water and fish the rest of the day with that. I'm only out here for a few hours, so we'll see how long my last two Senkos last. Oh yeah, that's the cast. Just love the way this reel and line casts. Put that wherever I want. Come on now. Make it worth a fish. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. There's the fish I was after. Okay. Get it out of that stick. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, he took that thing down too. Look at that hook. And there we go, right where I was hoping you'd be. There's something big in there. And I didn't really get him too. I just, he just barely clipped it. Oh, huge swirl. Oh, he's gonna go for it, he went for it again. Here we go. Got him. Maybe not huge, but. <laughs> oh, okay. But he's good, nonetheless. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Went for it so fast in that shallow water, made such a big swirl. And there he is. Oh, he was fun. It's gotta be foot deep and not much structure, but there he was. You could feel him, just the smallest little nick on that awesome X8 runkle line. Got him. Sweet bass. And the, by the way, these are actually awesome runkle pliers that have everything, braid cutting, um, split ring opening, you got it all, and they're like under 20 bucks. Let's let them back in. All right, do that same cast. See if there's a pot of them in there. One foot spot under a whatever kind of tree this is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Second cast, same spot. Nice. Oh, he's going berserk. This one's darker. Look at that. These fish are in here. Boy, he's so much darker. Late August smallies, just about September, a couple days from September here, and, and there he is. Two for two. How about three for three? Should we do it? Okay. Whoa! Oh! That one hit so hard. This one feels even bigger. Jeez! They're all right here. Come on, swim up. Man, he hit that so hard. That was just, especially with that braided line, it just was so tight. Yep, look at him. I give him another inch for sure. Come on, let's get a view of you. Okay. Oh, that's a nice bass. Look at that. Three fish in a row out of four casts. Oh, man, that was fun. Just smashed it. I'm worried this is the last Senko, but you know what? They're biting. I got to keep trying this spot. Just casting upstream from this tree. I don't think it's more than two feet right there, but they just love to hang out under here. I'd be shocked that there's another one in here. Three solid fish, and they don't seem to care that I keep taking their friends away. And there is another one. <laughs> that is, what are we at, four? This one's definitely not as big, but man. Wow. And there he goes back I'll send him that way oh but he went that way they just love that tree they don't want to go away okay then 
Oh, and this Senko is just about done here. This is toast. Why didn't I bring more? See if I can get this ring over the other part of it so I can hook it before it breaks in half. Just got this thing hooked on, but it's so falling apart, it's just about to rip in half. Last one. Can we find another fish? What are we at? Four in a row out of just about five casts. Let's see if there's five. I don't believe it, but let's see. Oh, got him. Oh, we got off. And he took the worm. He took the worm. That's the end of the Senkos. Look at that. There's the ring. He was pretty good too. I think it was going downstream at his own will. It was hard to stop him. Thank you.